I want to begin with technology, because there is a belief here that technology is the key to geopolitical power. Well, perhaps it is. But let's first discuss technology. So, for example, this is an iPhone. You, have, you must have many of them. It's obviously a useful tool, and you have no idea of its history. I will now tell you its history. The cell phone was developed by the United States Army in the 1970s. It was first deployed by the U.S. Army. So your cell phone is a military tool. The microchip was commissioned by the U.S. Air Force to fly the F-14 and also cruise missiles. GPS. You've used that to find your way around. So did the U.S. Navy, which commissioned the building of the GPS squadron so its submarines could know where they are. There's, of course, the camera. We all love the camera. I don't, but my wife does. It was developed for space satellite so that the film did not have to be dropped to Earth. It took pictures that could be transmitted as data to Earth. And, of course, there's the Internet, without which this wouldn't have any place, which is developed by DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, to move information from one point to another quickly so we didn't have to mail it. In other words, to understand the technology of this age, you must understand the geopolitical requirements of the United States, the military that it created, and the technology that it really cre created as well. So you cannot look at the cell phone, the iPhone, the very cute little thing, the camera and everything else, without understanding its military origins.